Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. From this particular video, I'll be starting a new component, new accounting standard that is INDAS 19. It is related to employee benefit expenses. So in that we have two types. One is short term paid absence. Okay, short term benefits and long term benefits. In that short term benefits, we will be uh, sol trying to solve the problems. In that first, I'm uh, trying to explain you about the paid absence. So the company, it will give two types of benefits, benefits in terms of paid absence to the employees. First one is vested paid absence. Second one is non-vested paid absence. So vested paid absence means the payment will be made immediately. What is this paid absence means? In a company, they will give you a certain amount of leaves that is known as paid leaves. If you don't take that paid leave, okay, if you don't take that paid leave, they will give you the extra amount for that paid leave, whatever you have not utilized, unutilized leave. So similarly, some companies will pay the uh, amount immediately and non-vested paid absence means you can transfer that carry forward that leave to the next year. You can carry forward the leave to the next year. That is known as non-vested. Vested and the head of the version even leaves not on the relva. Ashta leaves in a adeke duduna ade varsha kot putare non vested under mundin varsha ka leaves kalanivu carry forward mark kot bodu. So let us try to solve the problems based on this. So the question is on the screen a company has 100 employees who get the salary of rupees 500 per day. So uh, an employee is in a company there are 100 employees it seems each is each are getting a salary of 500 rupees per day. For a 300 day year, so working days, how many working days in a year? It is 300 working days. The company gives 9 days paid leaves. So the employees can take 9 days paid leaves. 20 employees have taken only 3 days leave. So out of 100 employees, 20 employees have taken only 3 days leaves. So remaining 6 days they have not taken. But if you have leaves, you have more than leave, you have more employees. So there are certain steps you need to calculate. The first step is we have to find out salary per day. In this question, they have given directly that salary per day is 500 rupees. In some question, they wouldn't have given directly. We need to calculate. Second, we have to calculate the paid leave available. So total the company is giving 9 days paid leave in a year. In that the 20 employees have taken only 3 days leave. So remaining 6 days leave they have not taken. So the paid leave it is 6 days. Now we need to pass one entry for salary. One more entry for this paid leaves. Yared entries early entry na pass maad beka gathe. One the salary goes kara entry pass maad beko. Inno the paid absence goes kara entry pass maad beka gathe. So first one is for salary. So total there are 100 employees. Each employee is getting 500 rupees per day. And for total 300 working days they will be getting the salary so 100 into 500 into 300 will be 1 crore 50 lakh rupees so this is the amount of salary the company is giving so the entry will be employee benefit expenses account debit to bank account 1 lakh sorry 1 crore 50 lakhs and 1 crore 50 lakhs now short term paid absence so for the 6 days so this is Vested, vested problem this is. So six days paid absence they have to give. So short term paid absence. Total 20 employees have not taken six days leave. And per day salary is nine, 500 rupees. So 20 employees into six days into 500 per day will be 60,000 rupees. So 60,000 has been paid for them. So employee benefit expenses account 60,000 to bank account 60,000. So this is a problem which is vested paid absence.